Hello my dear friends welcome to Fortran Academy my name is Harshwats and today we will be talking about creating pack table in Power BI desktop Power BI desktop is an analytical software that helps you in understanding your data set through various visualization in different data models now let us go further and talk about the point to be discussed in this video so in this video we particularly talk about four points that in the first point we will discuss why do we need fact table secondly how to make fact table third how to know what column should be deleted to make that fact table and in the fourth point and the last point of this video we will discuss how to merge group id if required so these are the all points that will be discussed in today's video about creating a fact table now let's go to the power bi desktop and discuss how does this all work in power bi now we are in power bi desktop in power query editor interface if you want to learn more about this interface you can go to my previous videos and see how does this interface works now in this video we will tell you how to make a fact table first of all the question arises what is the need of fact table in the previous videos i told you in this data set we created two dim table that means dimension table and now we need one fact table in which we can join this dimension table and make a new data set in which we will tell you how does this dim table interact with act table so first of all we have to make a fact table now so how to do that in a population combined query we will go and we will see this is a data set in which i have appended the data from 1950 to 2100 and does a lot of things to make this data set that much clean you can see in the applied steps i have applied many steps if you want to know any of these step you can go to my previous videos now let us go further and we will create a fact table now the question arises which column should be there in our data set and which column would be deleted so that is always depend on our dimension table now look at our dimension table in a dimension region we have a country id location and region name in a dimension age group table we have an age index number age group age group max age group name so now get into the population combined first of all we have to make a reference of this population combined query so that we can easily make our new query without disrupting this query for that we have to right click on a population combine and after that click on a reference it will take a few seconds you will see a population combine so here you will change a name of it into a fat population combine now you can see our query has now been created as a reference table in which we have changed the name in a fact population table so now we have to delete certain columns as i have already shown you in the dimension region and dimension age group which column are present so first of all we will delete a location column because it is already present in a dimension region you can see here so in a fact population table we do not need a location because we can directly connect it with our location id so for that we have to delete this column how to do that in a home tab you have to go into a remove column after that click on remove column you will see your column will be removed in applied steps you can also see the column has been removed after that which things are required in your fact table you have to go through your data for that you will see that location id is present year is also required because in the age group and region year is not present so year is required now let us go to the next column after the year we will go into the next column in a age group column now we will see in a dimension age group we have an age group column but we also have an age index number so if in fact population table we will introduce an age index number so we can delete an age group number so that is also quite useful to us how to combine all these queries now for that we need a merge query on the basis of age group we can merge the dimension table and fact table so 
how to do that that is also very easy in a home ribbon only you have to go into a combine section after that go into a merge query is in a merge query just click on merge queries not in merge queries as new as it will create a new query so we have to merge in this query only just click on merge query when you click on merge query new dialog box opens up which show fact population table so on the basis of age group we want to combine dimension age group with fact population table so fact population table is already present we want to combine it with dimension age group after that go into a dimension age group table in which you will see a dimension age group column click on a dimension age group column because on the basis of this column we are going to attach or merge these two queries after that in a join kind you will see left outer because i have already told you how this kind work if you want to learn about different kind of attaching in merge query you can go to my previous videos and see how this uh, merging query works with different kind after that click on ok it will take a few seconds to merge this query now you can see one new column has been added in our pack table which is dimension age group so we want an age group index so for that you have to go in a dimension age group in there there is one box this box just click on this box after that uh, click on select all columns so every column will be unselected after that we need an age index number just click on age index number after that remove this tick from use original name as prefix because we need a name of age index number then click on ok now it takes a few seconds and you will see that age group index will appear in this column now you can see the age index number has been entered in our data set so we will change the position of age index number while in front of year so that location id age index number year age group gender and population will be present now you can see age index number is present so we do not need age group because it is already present in dimension age group i will show you like in dimension age group age group is already present also age index number in a fact population table we have entered an age index number so we do not need age group just click on age group after that go into the home ribbon and click on remove columns so this column will be removed from your data set now you have left with the location id age index number year gender population so this is how you will create a fact table so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope your queries got cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section we will surely get back to you and if this video helped you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have an amazing and good day